Hey guys, it's Pat and welcome back to another Minecraft video. And today we're going to be playing Tetra Mine. It's actually a Minecraft version of Tetris. It's just so cool I had to show it to you. Alright, so here we go. Let's start a game. Yeah, Tetris is one of those games I like grew up playing and when I saw this I just had to make a video. So we have three different choices. Overworld, Nether, and End. And you can see like the speed is higher depending on which one you chose. But you do get more points as well. And you can go with like a garbage level. And if you like put this up higher, there's going to be blocks in the way when you start. But I'll show you that after. So just for an example, let's start in the overworld. And here we go. Next piece is on the side as always. And I've got some sand blocks falling down. To rotate your pieces, all you have to do is hit Z or X. And obviously, I can't really rotate a square. Uh, but here we go. So with this, I can rotate the block and put it down. If you're not familiar with Tetris, can't imagine that anyone is not familiar with Tetris, but if you aren't, um, basically, you're trying to get, like, lines, and that's what I'm going to do right now. And there are some, like, cool, like, Minecraft aspects to this, other than the blocks. You're going to see, like, the grass actually does turn to dirt if um, a block's on top of it, and if it's on top, the grass does spread, which is really cool, too. Um, but sand and gravel actually will fall just like they do in Minecraft. Like, I like how they add in those, like, little things to make it really feel like you're kind of playing some type of version of Minecraft. But, yeah, the point of the game is to make it through the levels and to get as high of score as possible. I'm kind of shooting for the Tetris, if you can see, on the right side. Like, I played Tetris so much when I was little, it just, it's, it's not even funny. I consider myself actually really good at this game. But my luck is not looking so good so far. All right, so I need some kind of sand... Okay, sand block is coming up. I want to show you guys exactly what you can do with it. It kind of makes the game a little bit easier than normal Tetris, but um, some stuff makes it a little bit harder, too. Like, this one, if I were to place it here, this would be a terrible spot. How about right there? But now, the sand actually does fall down, which is very interesting. So, yeah, if I bring it down here, that will score me some points, as you can see. And, yeah, sand, I could throw it anywhere. It's awesome. Um, one of the things, though, guys, in normal Tetris, like, when you're playing, like, on a console, normally you can just hold, like, the right button to move it. You can't do it. Every time you want to move a block to the right, you need to press the right button one more time, which makes it extremely challenging at the high levels. Like, I played this. I only practiced this once. I played one game, and at level 9, it starts to go so quick that um, you really can't control it. Like, you have to press the button like a madman. But um, I'm going to show you guys some of the other levels now because I could pretty much go on forever at this speed. So now we're going to try out the nether one. And this one, it's going to go a little bit quicker. I like the background. Like zombie pigmen. And of course, we are going to get different blocks too. Speed is a little bit faster. And if you're wondering if you could like move the blocks down really quick, you can if you press the button like a million times. Like I said, you can't hold down the button, so it doesn't work like that. I like how there's ore in it too. It's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, with this, it's going to be a little bit more challenging in the nether. The blocks are also a bit darker, too. When you get to the end, it's really difficult. Like, the blocks are so, you know, black, you, you can barely even, like, see them. Alright, but here we go. I'm going to try to score some points here. And I think what I'm going to do is um, try to go as far as I can into one of these. Just to see um, and show you guys how hard it can actually get. But I'm obviously going to have to cut a lot of footage because... It's going to take a long time to get to a high level. So I'm going to get my first Tetris right now. Bam. Tons of points. But yeah, I'm only five lines in and each level is ten lines. So you'll go up to another one and the speed will increase on each level. And it's kind of slow increase. It's really hard to notice at first. But once you get up to the higher levels, you're definitely going to notice the difference. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is just fast forward to the higher levels. So now things should start to get more challenging. I'm on to level 8, and you can see it is moving quite quickly. It's extremely hard to actually control them at this point. Because you have to press the button so many times. But yeah, if you're looking for a challenge, guys, and you're good at Tetris, you definitely can find that challenge here. Because, yeah, level 8 in the nether, extremely hard right now. And commentating while doing this is not easy. All right, here we go. I think we could at least make it to the next level. All right, let's try this. Gotta hit it so many times. 
Um, but yeah, guys, I think we're gonna be all right. Maybe. Okay, I really need a block that can fit over there. Okay, there we go. And my computer's actually freaking out, too. I don't know what's going on. Okay, so we can save our lives if we get the right block, like, right now. There we go. Oh, my God, level 9 is, is not fun. Okay, a little too quick. <laughs> but, yeah, as you guys can see, um, that can get pretty challenging. So, to show you guys the end, I'm just going to put the garbage level on, like... All right, it can be up to nine. We'll go with like six or something. And yeah, now there's like six blocks that you just can't do anything about. So it's going to be so much harder. Um, and yeah, the blocks in the end are kind of difficult because, you know, it's made of obsidian and the background is extremely dark. I don't know. I find it more challenging. But guys, see if you can beat me um, on the nether level. See if you can get past level nine because, yeah, at that one definitely could not control it very good and really the reason is because you have to click it multiple times to like move it to the side it makes it so much harder than just like holding down the left button but anyways guys that's about all there is to show with this game it's basically a minecraft version of tetris pretty cool if you want to check it out the download of course is in the description and if you enjoyed the video i'd really appreciate it if you left a like and subscribe Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time.